Um, okay, so with E3, the uh, biggest game game and event of the year, just around the corner. In fact, it's this week. So, um, in true YouTube fashion, I'm going to uh, make my predictions of what's going to happen and what I hope to happen. Um, so, I'm going to cover the uh, four game company, uh, well, the actual game makers press conferences rather than uh, all the press, press conferences, um, mainly due to the fact of, um, I don't really, uh, at the moment I don't really care about Nintendo and PS4, so I'd rather not go over just the fact of Xbox and be hated on for the rest of my life. So. Uh, Without further ado, first. Okay, so first we have Bethesda. Bethesda has made a massive amount, uh, a massive announcement this uh, last few weeks with the uh, Fallout 4 debut trailer. Um, well, what can I say? I'd say uh, I've heard along the grapevines of multiple of a Fallout with multiplayer, um, so that'd be fun to watch. Um, watch out for um, what they're gonna do with the game, because uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the advert in the uh, the uh, advertisement uh, or advert advertisement, depending on how you want to say it. Um, you have um, switches between past and present um, in Boston, uh, which is where it's going to be set. So uh, that's what I'm looking. That's not really a prediction. Well, that's my prediction. So we'll see how that goes. Um, what I'd love to see is um, see what they're going to do with the with the Elder Scrolls series. Um, I know they have Elder Scrolls on out, online out there, but it for me it doesn't work. I think um, if they, I'd say they do a teaser trailer because you can't really make bring out Fallout 4 and announce that and then go oh we have another Elder Scrolls it'd be a bit you know too soon um, so yeah um, what else I'd like to see I would also I've, um, my next prediction is uh, Battlecry uh, this one has been shouted out quite some time uh, Bethesda making Battlecry so um, that's another one of where's that gonna go um, so I hope I hope that's announced and I'm gonna say it's also a prediction um, for that to be announced okay um, so that's for Bethesda um, we'll see how that goes uh, and Touchwood, Thursday are a absolutely brilliant game studios, and therefore I would ha I wish them good luck on their first ever um, press conference at E3, and congratulations for getting there. You're now in the powerhouses. Okay, so EA, it's not really. A new thing, but um, their preference, uh, their press conference. This is going to be one of those. Of it's going to be very much Bioware centric. I think this year it's going to be um, the Mass Effect trilogy remastered for next generation consoles, and also um, I'd like to see the Dragon Age games. 
remastered. But um, there's also been uh, little whispers of uh, Mass Effect 4, which it could just be a teaser trailer that we see. But that's all. That that could be it. That could, you know, could be where we're going. Um, and then we'll have this is this is just common knowledge. We'll just have um, FIFA, uh, your yearly sports games, um, which will come out. So there's that, um, like FIFA, Madden, that kind of thing. So um, that's uh, going to be big. Um, that'll be all the rage because yearly games are awesome. So that's something to look out for, in my opinion, is um, the Dragon Age and Mass Effect remastered. That's what I'm hoping for, and the, the let's hope that it happens, and um, hope and pray for it. Hope and pray for it, guys. Hope and pray. So there's okay, and next. We have another powerhouse of E3. Aha! Ubisoft. Oh, how we love you. Um, okay, so my prediction is going to be they're going to further Assassin's Creed series um, with the Syndicate. Um, so they'll further on the Syndicate story. Uh, they'll probably show gameplay and stuff. Uh, that's all I can really say for Assassin's Creed because I haven't caught up yet. I'm still on for because I have quite a lot of other games to play. I wish I hadn't. I've started playing it again. But I love it. Um, so, another one is. Uh, Watch Dogs 2. Um, I can see it being a, another yearly game, um, which was a massive announcement um, last year, uh, last time. So we'll see where that goes. And um, I hope to God it's a brilliant thing. It should be awesome for us to see uh, Watch Dogs 2. So, um, I'm keeping my eye out for that one. Um, are they going to further the Tom Clancy series on? And the other one, which is pretty much going full circle for me, um, which is Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia. Oh, I wish. I've played the Prince of Persia games, and uh, out of all the Ubisoft games, it's tightly matched. It's Prince of Persia uh, with Assassin's Creed. I love both games, so um, game series. So I hope to see another Prince of Persia. It, will, you know, so in, it would be nice to see a Prince of Persia again. Again, you know, it's the mother of Assassin's. It's basically the parent of Assassin's Creed. Um, which I actually found out this week that uh, Prince of Persia was meant to uh, that Assassin's Creed was meant to be called uh, Prince of Persia Assassins so uh, we'll see where that goes maybe they'll bring out another Prince of Persia game please bring out another Persia, Prince of Persia game I pray to the, to the gods of gaming okay and last but not least, we have okay, and finally with the other company, which has their first ever E3 press conference, um, which is Square Enix. So Square Enix, okay, Square Enix. Um, Whispers of Final Fantasy 15 future. Um, 
there's also talks um, and this could be just me but I've uh, heard about Dusex Dusex Mankind Divided and Kingdom Hearts 3 those two games would be quite a big announcement for their first you know press conference so I think that's what they've been saving I think that's what they've been saving this for um, and by my reckoning also championship manager the world of football um, I can't really say much else because another one uh, Square Enix is one of those of I don't know where it's going I yeah, don't know what's happening um, the other one I can think of is uh, with Edios under their belt they might also announce um, the next Tomb Raider which would be the uh, next part of uh, Lara Croft's story um, so we'll see how that goes and uh, that's really it that's all I can say for Square Enix um, at the moment uh, although I would love to see The Last Remnant too. That was a good game. It was basically like uh, it was basically like an offshoot of uh, Final Fantasy with a different. It was basically Final Fantasy uh, gameplay in a different world. So for, I, I'd like to see that. Um, I w in fact, I would love to see Last Remnant um, and uh, Last Remnant Two announced. Um, that's me personally. Um, don't know about you guys, so that's that's it. Okay, and uh, that's it for them. Okay, so um, what's uh, your predictions for E3 2015? Um, if you want, com put your thoughts in the comment section below and. Uh, that's all from me, um, and I hope you like this video. If you do, like, press the uh, thumbs up, and uh, if you want to check out some of my other videos, uh, don't forget to press the nice red button of loveliness, which has pixies and daisies on the other side, which is subscribe on. So uh, that's it from me today. Uh, well, that's it for this video. So. Uh, I would like to say thank you, uh, good morning, good evening, good night, and goodbye, so peace out.